Okay, so behind me we have a tower. It's a tower that is filled up with charcoal. Um, it lifts liquid up through a airlift pump and it drips all the way down again, feeding this um, charcoal nutrients in the form of human urine, so a type of slurry system. And because there's charcoal in it, it cleans the water, it comes out the bottom like a spring, so crystal clean water, and basically it grows plants like nothing I've ever seen grows plants. If, if all treatment plants were set up in this manner, I think the earth would be a cleaner place and we'd have tons of fruit. If you don't, if you want to see more like about what this whole tower is actually about, I'll put a video in the description down below how I made it, what it's all about, so you get a, a, a deeper understanding on how the whole thing actually works. Um, but I also did then, in that video I promised that I was going to try out a Zola for um, adding more nitrogen to the liquid because there was some yellowing and we'll see now in a minute if that was overcome. Also I, I was thinking, wow, could we actually grow, um, could we actually put human urine in there every day and basically not have any smell? And if you want to find out if that is possible, well, you just got to watch the rest of the video. And we'll even look at the microscope at some of this pure charcoal, which smells amazing. It smells like forest floor. I know there was human urine in this, but it smells, well, I'm kind of half giving it away now, aren't I? It smells like forest floor and it basically feels like soil. And when you look at the microscope in a minute, you'll understand why it actually... I'll explain why this is actually behaving like soil. Um, this is just really... like... I'm trying to get you to understand how amazing this is. So anyway, let's go and have, have a look at uh, me talking a little bit more about four months ago. I put in some azola, which is a fern that swims and floats on top of the water. And, and I basically had it on here and on here. Uh, growing as a carpet on top of the water and it forms a symbiosis with nitrogen fixing bacteria, green blue algae bacteria and then I was hoping the nitrogen in, would be in the water and it would actually give these plants some more nutrients especially the nitrogen. This was just a, an idea I had, I don't know if it was going to work or not in fact at the moment I don't even know if it's better or not We'll put in a, 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 just a picture of about two months ago before I put the Zola in right now on top of this and you can decide for yourself does it look better on, or worse. Now I could put this whole thing over on the other side of the farm where we have another house with electricity and more sunlight and I will probably do that at some stage but the next step now is actually to pee in it. <laughs> to actually put, um, I don't know, maybe once a day Put some human urine in there and I want to see does it actually create a smell? Uh, can you actually get rid of this urine that we produce every day by actually feeding it to the plants and cleaning the water enough that nobody was going to drink it anyway. But just to see can we clean the water enough to actually uh, get rid of this potential, in some countries, potential health hazard um, and just find a way of actually um, I don't know, just just growing. You could do this on a massive scale with very little electricity, little energy, and I think you can actually clean water this way. Um, and that's the experiment. So that's the update. Um, we'll jump now to the part where in about two months time again I will talk to you and I have actually added the, the human urine once a day. And yeah, we'll just see what that looks like. If you pee in the same place again and again and again, it's going to start stinking, right? Well, I'm telling you there's no smell. In fact, the soil even, the soil now smells, it smells of soil. And I can touch, I don't feel like, oh, this is gross, because it's not. The water itself is, it's, it's crystal clear. It feels, you know, that kind of mountainy water, that crystal clear feel to it? It's like that. It's like amazing. So if we can actually clean water like this, I mean, what, what, more, what more do we want? Like, 
that's people are spending millions of dollars on chemicals cleaning water and uh, some treatment plants do use bacteria and so on but I mean here you have a drip system which actually grows food that you can food you can actually there was a flower that's why I spat it out food you can actually eat which tastes lovely and it's been through uh, loads of microbes as well there's no urine in this right I can actually eat this feed myself I could have a solar panel if I was in the desert this would actually be like if I had a bigger version of this in the desert this would be great so I'm trying to explain to you why this is such a cool thing clean water and food what more do we want? Alright, really quickly we have ourselves some uh, charcoal particles, we have ourselves some organic matter particles the charcoal is obviously the black stuff and the organic matter stuff is the brown stuff and in between all of that we have these millions and trillions of bacteria look at that thing there, that looks really incredible, I don't even know what that is now see those little tiny round dots, they are bacteria and they're basically holding together these particles see that there we have like five particles of charcoal and about four or five particles of organic matter probably all being held together by bacteria and we have lots and lots of different life forms holding together these particles uh, creating soil aggregates and these soil aggregates are really really important for um, basically combating soil erosion all these bacteria fungi protozoa and everything like that make like like gobble up all these nutrients and basically make them available for plants to take up so they, they go through a cycle all this life in the soil and then they, that, that their waste in a way becomes then water soluble nutrients that our plants can take up and it's really important and I sometimes think you know the chemical industry they add salt based uh, chemicals which are also water soluble right away but they kill all this life and then we have soil erosion which is a big, big problem, and of course, then all these these bacteria and everything are gone. You know, and that means all those nutrients can't be made available anymore for plants. So the plants need more nutrients. Where do they get them? Well, the chemical industry. You know, they are the problem and the solution. Then you know, <laughs> somehow clever by them. You know, I wonder if they did that on purpose. Anyway, there you go. That's what it looks like. Soil aggregates. We can make soil from charcoal. All right, so come with me now. We're going to basically take a closer look at uh, the turmeric. We're going to take it apart, decommission it. Let's get started. Okay, so we take this guy out of the way. That's one of those tears, by the way. And this is the one. Actually, maybe you want to back off a little bit so you just appreciate what's growing in this one tier. Let me just pull you back here. And there you go, we have an entire mini jungle growing in here. I'm going to put it up here, there we go. There you go, that's all the dripping we need. Okay, that's our turmeric layer. <laughs> okay, I think we have a... Okay, I think we're actually in business. Oh, look at that! Look at that! All that has been created just from this. Pretty amazing. So we can reuse some of this turmeric. Um, at the back and here, I mean these are the small ones, okay? Because, I mean, they gotta be, because they got the least sun. Remember, two hours of sunlight, yeah? Look at that, that's like soil. That's like, that's just soil. I mean, this is incredible. So that's one, two, Anything growing here, nothing much grew in this one. That was the least amount of sun here at the back. So let's see what it looks like when we actually gave it a lot of soil, uh, sun. Well, not a lot, but more. Oh my God. There we go, we've got some turmeric, my God. <laughs> All 
Oh, yeah. Look at all those roots. Oh, this is just incredible. Look at all that turmeric. Okay, I'm gonna wash it down in a minute and then we can see how much turmeric we got. There's some more. We got some more in here. We do as well. All right, let me just do that off camera. Just real quick. So here we go, that is about, I don't know, about kg and a half, two kg of turmeric. Um, didn't cost me anything, in fact it just grew by its merry self. And I got plenty of it now. Not bad. <laughs> okay, so, that ends kind of the video. I'm gonna give you my own conclusion of the whole thing. Even though I'm a little bit biased to the thing, of course I am. I mean, I, wh who wouldn't be, you know? But let's just take that aside and objectively look at it. And I cannot fault find anything. I mean, for what it is, it has exceeded like expectations a lot. It's grown in two hours of sun sunshine with the worst charcoal that we could have used. Um, it's, it's made clean drinking, probably potentially drinking water and if not, if you weren't going to drink it, well, at least clean it of water that you will not be afraid of touching it. Um, human sewage is a huge problem. Um, I'm really pleased with it. We got tons of food out of it and clean, clean water. You know, I mean, like we've got this turmeric basically was grown on just two little buckets of compost tea, four months of just water and then some azola because then it naturally it does turmeric does this it kind of dies back and at that point just after that i started adding urine which is when this took off and this is just incredible the amount like this is three times as much as i have ever managed to grow anywhere on the farm and i'm tomorrow i'm going to take it apart and just cut make cuttings and just stick it like i have one big patch and you will see later in later videos where i'm growing it it won't be doing as well as this like you know um, and then last but not least we've turned you know smelly stinky pee like urinated water I wonder if you could actually maybe even use like human um, okay we probably won't go into that but you probably could like do the full sewage job and by the way if if any of you anybody watching this who's into big industry and sewage treatment plants and you get to watch this video just by off chance you never know and you want to make this into a big thing, knock yourself out. You have my 100% permission because since I kind of, I'm not patenting, I like forget it, you know, use it, please use it if you can. If you think this is a good idea and you can turn it into a bigger thing and make tons of money out of it, I don't care. I, I will be very happy for you. Go for it. So that's basically it. Um, it works. I'm happy with it. I really am. I really am. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I might see you in the next one too.